Shalom. Kohalayim la Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai Bashim Rachakwadash. Double honors to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone who were well for teaching me the truth. Salutations to the hopeful elect. All right. Shalom la Habacharium. That means peace to the elect. To you brothers out there across the globe pushing the truth with all righteousness and sincerity, the hopeful elect. And salutations to you, few sincere sisters who hearken as well diligently. All right. Shalom, Ahab, Wabarakim, peace, love, and blessings. All right. Kaya here, back with another video. And I'm going to just do this real quick. I, um, and just thinking about, you know, Jake as a whole, Jake consists of you, uh, uh, it, it pertains to the house of Jacob, you know, if you will, you know, whose name was later changed to Israel, you know, Jacob, whose name was later changed to Israel in the book of Genesis, all right, but it consists of these so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans scattered abroad and nearby, all right, but um, I was thinking about this as a whole, you know, and, and you know, certain things that happen in my life where uh, our people are prone to tantrums, man, <laughs> You know, our people are, are, are prone to tantrums, which which it's not a comely. It's we're not we're no strangers to it, obviously. But but we don't we don't come from this because, you know, when you look at Jake as a whole, even though, you know, Jake is doing tantrums, Jake has this uncontrollable emotionalism. You know what I'm saying? A, a hyper emotionalized, you know, state of mind and mentality because of, you know, oppression. Or whatever the case, all right? You know, a lot of our people are, are in this emotional state of mind growing up under, you know, our, our mothers, you know? Because what? Esau Edom is, is, is you know, he's he's um giving benefits to, to women who throw, all right? Who throw their, their husband, they quote-unquote baby daddies out the house or whatever. So you got a lot of our men, a lot of the men of Israel who grow up in these, you know, these, these you know, feminized households. You know, these these matriarchal um, environments, all right? And it's not healthy, it's not comely, it's not good, because what? You know, we, we're supposed to have both parents in the household, man, all right? And women being as emotional as they are, you know, they, they you know, you start spewing hateful things about the man that they slept with and had a child with, all right? And they teach the child, you know, such behaviors so that the child you know, absorbs all of those things, children being sponges, especially men, you know, absorbing all of those things and it takes effect on them later on in life, man. So, you know, today's topic, I wanted to talk about, uh, uh, or tonight's topic, however you want to call it. I want to talk about, you know, Jake and tantrums. All right. So this is the definition of the word tantrum. It says an uncontrolled outburst of anger and frustration, typically in a young child. He has temper tantrums if he can't get his own way. All right. So let's go to some images. You know, you, you see when you type in tantrum or tantrum definition, uh, tantrum on the, uh, and you, you know, you click images on Google, you see, you see children, you know what? Like crying and you know what I'm saying? All that sniffling and things of that nature. Because what? This, this, that's what children do. But you got even adults. You got even you know, adult men and adult women who do shit like this, man. All right. You got brothers in the. You got brothers in the truth who do it. You know what? Be it sincere or possible niggas. You know, in the truth who do it, and you know Jake throw attention when he can't have his have his way, man. And the scriptures talk about us. You know, how, how we're supposed to be slow to anger. All right. The scriptures talk about the, the apostle. I believe it was the apostle Paul who said it when I was a child. I did. I did childish things, roughly paraphrasing. All right. When you're in this truth, man, you, you learn, you learn, you learn to, to, to get out of the world. and You learn to what you, you, you come away from being a child and you start being a man. You start becoming, you're supposed to start becoming a better man. All right. So if you get told no. If you get and a lot of these come from when we get told no or or when a, a brother gets reproved and rebuked and things of that nature, which which is necessary. All right. In this walk, in this ministry. All right. You got certain Jake's who who because, you know, of worldly elements, they throw tantrums and become emotional when they can't have their way, man. All right. As a matter of fact, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start with that. 
I'm going to go ahead and start with that. Let me see. New Testament. First Corinthians chapter 13, verse 11. Yeah, it was the Apostle Paul. It says, when I was a child. Yeah, first Corinthians 13, 11. When I was a child, I speak as a child. I understood as a child. I thought as a child. But when I became a man, I put away childish things. All right. And as a matter of fact. Let me look this up in the um in the blue letter real quick. I want to look and see what that word for childish is. All right. So 1 Corinthians 13 and 11. All right. Let's see what um in the New Testament in this um on this app is uh, written in Greek. It was published in Greek. All right. So the Greek word for childish G3516. Strong's G, 3516. Napios. Napios. It says from uh, where it says root word etymology from an obsolete particle implying negation. Then it says an infant, little child, a minor, not of age. Childish, untaught, unskilled. All right. Babe, childish. All right. So you're, you're a child. You're a youth. All right. And that's exactly what it what it is when you come into this ministry, man. The scriptures talk about how, you know, uh, we have to desire the sincere milk. All right. We're, we're supposed to come into this truth as new creatures. We're supposed to come into this truth as babes. All right. Now, let's talk about coming into the ministry. But going back to the scripture in the context thereof, it says, when I was a child, I spake as a child. I understood as a child. But when I became a man, I put, I put away childish things. So what the Apostle Paul is saying, you know, he, he put off. He put off the old habits. He put off the old habits. He put off the childish, untaught, unlearned, unskilled behavioral patterns and habits that, that you know, uh, even certain Jakes to this day will, will hold Jake back and things of that nature. Because the problem with a lot of our people is that they're, 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 uh, they're so terrified of growth. They're so terrified of, of change, you know, and, and, and gaining morals. They don't want to go through. They don't want to go through pain, but pain pain is necessary in this um in this in this ministry. All right? Pain is necessary in this walk, man. What's that expression in the world? No pain, no gain. And and that's true. The scriptures talk about that, man. All right? How like we can't appreciate the kingdom of heaven. We can't appreciate the kingdom of heaven if 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 we don't labor for it, you know? And there's um certain articles. I, I think I was looking at one this past week that that talks about that talks about you know what I'm saying like um oh, I might have been listening to somebody, I forget, but I think somebody was talking about um how if um you can't appreciate anything that you have, you can't appreciate something that you you get if you don't work for it. All right, it's the same thing in a relationship. You know when um when, you know when you get with a woman. Or even if you acquire a, a new a new friend, so to speak, you know what I'm saying. If y'all don't fucking go through anything, if y'all don't have any type of adversity, and it's not going to be all the time, but if you don't have any type of adversity, all right, then then what character is not going to be built on either side? All right. Let me get this. This is the book of Ecclesiastic. It's called Sarat, chapter 2, verse 5 in the Apocrypha. It says, for gold is tried. As a matter of fact, verse 4. I'm going to start at verse 4. Sarat 2 and 4. It says, whatsoever is but upon thee, take cheerfully. And be patient when thou art changed to a low estate. All right? Because in this walk, you know, um, you, you're going you're gonna to find that what? Even, even in knowing the names of the Heavenly Father and the Son and praying and fasting, you know, to, to Yahweh, Yahweh Shai. All right, for you Israelites, in this walk, in this ministry, we're still going to take lows, man. We're still going to take L's, you know. And I had did a couple testimony videos on 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 on, on my page, the things that I niche about a, a, a fire breaking out in, in my in my fucking neighborhood, man. Totally unexpected. I could have never predicted that, you know. And and it it, it just and it is it's one of those things where just like we're in hell, you never know what's going to happen to you the next day. All right. 
Same thing with going, on, going out in the highways and the hedges. You never know what's going to happen when you go out there. But what? We go out, we, we prophesy, we give our bodies and our time to how about Shimi how shy for however long we out there, you know, through the spirit. Okay, and whatever happens, happens, man. You got certain prophets, you got certain brothers who, who got killed, you know, by, by, by a hater of the Most High. All right, the scriptures talk about haters of God, some of which are our own people. All right, so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you know, some some of who are, are the, the heathen, all right, outside of Israel. All right, but but whatsoever is but upon you, you got to take cheerfully, man. Like, take, like, like. Take it as, as as a blessing, man. Take it as joy. Count it as joy, man. All right? The scriptures talk about in the book of Job, and I'll get that in a second. It says, and be patient when thou art changed to a low estate. So when you have to sacrifice whatever it is that you that you had or gained in the world, all right, you have to you have to get rid of it for, for the sake of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right, to 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 to, to you know uh, be in this walk and be preserved from whatever type of hurt. You know? So that way you can continue to prophesy, you know, certain brothers who was probably making six figures probably got reduced down to making, you know, uh, uh, four or five figures, man. Well, not four figures, excuse me, but like, you know, five figures somewhere, you know, they was probably making high six figures, I should say. They was probably making high six figures, but then got reduced down to making, you know, a, a, a lower or a moderate five figures, you know, uh, uh, eating their daily bread, so to speak. All right. But we're supposed to, you know, count it as joy. We're supposed to count it as joy when Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, you know, uh, 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 checks us. All right. The scriptures talk about not despising and chastening the, of the Lord. You know, Sirach two and five it says, "For gold is tried in the fire, and acceptable men in the furnace of adversity." So there you go. Gold is tried in the fire. Gold is purified in the fire to get rid of any unnecessary elements. All right, that will cause it from being pure. All right. And this is Job 13 and 15. It says, though he slay me, yet will I trust in him. But I will maintain my own ways before him. All right, so the, the, the prophet Job, Ayawab, all right, which means hated, afflicted, or persecuted, all right, Job said, though he slay me, because what? Job was catching hell, man. Job was catching, you know, uh, hell on a, a very extreme sense. He lost his family. All right. He's, he lost his wherewithal. Okay. Which certain of those things to a, to a certain degree in, in this ministry that, that has happened to certain brothers. You know, you got testimonies of brothers talking about them losing certain resources, you know, uh, when they came into the truth. But they're just like, yeah, they, they, they might tell you, like, yeah, I was, I was a little... You know, I was a little hurt by it. Or some brothers just like, you know what? I didn't mind at all. All right. You, you just, you got to be realistic, right? You know, but they were just like, it was, it was worth it, man. Because what, you know, it, it was, it was all for you. How about Shimi How was shy? All right. The scriptures talk, the scriptures say, um, I count, I count, um, roughly paraphrasing, but you know what I'm saying? Like I, I count my life as dung, roughly paraphrasing, you know? I counted all, I counted all, uh, 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 loss, all the things that I gave, uh, I had in the world, I counted, but loss to gain the excellency of Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, roughly paraphrasing Salakia, all right, and I think that was the Apostle Paul, he said, he counts all things but loss to gain the excellency of Yahweh Shai, all right, so we're supposed to believe in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and everything that we go through, we're supposed to take cheerfully, man, take with joy, you know, Hebrews the 12th chapter, I'm not gonna, uh, chapter, I'm not gonna pull it, you know, you could look at it for yourselves, but Hebrews, the 12th chapter, goes into that. All right. Let me get this in the book of Ephesians, speaking of the New Testament, chapter 4, verse 22. You know, and, and change, change does not happen overnight, man. Change does not happen overnight. All right. At all. All right. It, 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 it may take years for, for, for somebody to, 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 to change their mind, even in being in the ministry. That's why rebuke and reproval is so important. Because it's balance. When you going off and a brother checks you, okay, or elder check you or whatever the case is, uh, the elder may rebuke a whole camp for going off on whatever the hell it is. You know what I'm saying? You gotta believe that that elder, all right, is 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 right in the eyes of Yahweh Bashim in the eyes of the Lord. All right, and what you have to submit and you have to listen, okay. 
Change doesn't happen overnight. And because what well, it's a part of the growing pains, it's essentially a part of the process that comes with this walk. You know, and all of us have to go through it, man. It may take years for a brother to, to, to change, you know, his mind, which we're really not in the time to be making, you know, boneheaded decisions. But what? It happens. It happens, man. Shit happens in this ministry. It happens in this truth. But you have to maintain your integrity. All right. That's the point that I want to get to. Ephesians 4 and 22, it says that you put off concerning the former conversation, the old man, which is corrupt according to the deceitful lust. That word conversation means conduct, all right, which is talking about your behavioral patterns, which is talking about particularly in the scripture, the behavioral patterns of, of your, your, your uh, before you came into this ministry, before you started serving you, how about you, you got blessed with the Holy Spirit, man, all right, you have to, we have to do our best every single day to put off that, that, that nigga, you know, put off the vibration of our worldly names, man, and our worldly actions and start becoming new creatures in, in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Okay? Praying for fear, acknowledging the fear of the Lord, man. All right? Verse 23, it says, And be renewed in the spirit of your mind, and that you put on the new man, which after the Most High is created in righteousness and true holiness. Yeah, the scriptures say, uh, Be ye perfect as I am perfect, and be ye holy as I am holy. All right? Because the, the, the Heavenly Father and the Son is perfect. All right. Yahweh Wah Yahweh Shai is perfect, man. So so we doing our best to, to be as, as close to perfect as we can, even in this flesh on this side, because what? We don't we don't want to offend Yahweh Yahweh Shai any further. As far as we can help it, all right? As far as we can help it, I'll say it like that. As far as we can help it. All right. Of course, brothers is gonna go off because we're we we are ignorant in certain matters of the law, in certain matters concerning faith. You know, by reason of the scriptures, we are ignorant of certain things. And like I mentioned earlier, you got certain brothers who 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 are more hard headed than others, who make, you know, very, very silly decisions, you know, which the most high checks us all according to when we make those silly decisions, those boneheaded, stupid, sottish decisions, man. All right. We always going to receive correction, you know. And sometimes sometimes it's it's necessary for us to, to make idiot decisions. All right, just for the for the sake of, of, of more growth, man. All right, not telling brothers to willingly go off and do stupid shit, you know, but rather grow from it, you know. If, if and that's why it's important to think before you act, man, you know, that's why going into this this uh this video talking about anger, all right, it's it's not wise to be angry hastily, you know. It's not wise to give place unto wrath, as the scriptures say as well. So let me get this in the book of Proverbs. What was that, 14 to 29? Yeah, Proverbs chapter 14, verse 29. It says, He that is slow to wrath is of great understanding. But he that is hasty of spirit exalts a folly. So there you go. He that is slow to wrath is of great understanding. All right. So it's, it's good. It's good to be slow to anger, man, because the heavenly father is, is slow to anger. And that's why when you look at Jake, you know, as 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 a whole, Jake, Jake, for the most part, Jake, for the most uh, most part is, is very peaceful. Jake like to laugh. Jake like to shoot the shits. You know what I'm saying? Jake like to just sit down and chill and relax. All right, but because of this society and ultimately because of the curses, can't give too much credit to America. All right, because of the curses, what you know, you got a lot of Jakes who are you know highly frustrated. All right, given the hard times, you know, Jake walk around with the with the damn stink face, and and got stink attitudes. All right, look at our women. Look at how our women treat treat our men. You know, with with such disrespect. You know, and even when that happens, it's important to be slow to anger, man. But address, and that's why having the scriptures lies in our minds is so important. That's why having patience, the word patience is a, a, a rock, which means to suffer. It's important to be patient when what? When we get reduced to lowest states, such as being disrespected or humiliated. All right. It says, he that is slow to wrath is of great understanding, but he that is hasty of spirit exalted folly. So there you go, man. When you're hasty, when you're rash, all right, 
when you when you when you uh, 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 do things uncomely, you know, or not meet, you know, or emotional. That's a better way to put it. When you do things emotionally, what you're exalting folly, man. You're exalting, you know, wickedness and and you know, a uh, 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 unwise behavior, you know, unwise conduct. All right. That was it on that. This is um Proverbs. Continuing the Proverbs, chapter fifteen. Verse 18, it says, A wrathful man stirreth up strife, but he that is slow to anger appease of strife. All right, a wrathful man stirreth up strife. And there you go, man. So in in, in and I, I um I um I talked about this at a certain point in time before, you know, talking about um 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 being empathetic and being amenative and things of that nature. I know like just my own personal testimony, like throughout my life, I noticed that, you know, I, I, I can be a very compassionate and empathetic and understanding individual, you know? And once again, that's that's Jake as well. All right. When I say empathetic, I'm not talking about like how these females nowadays, they try to, you know, put on the whole good girl, humble act like, oh, I'm very empathetic, yada, yada, yada. But inwardly, they, they hold a lot of pieces of shit, bro. All right. The real empathy is when you're able to, you know, sit back and listen to a brother and, and learn from his struggles, you know, and just just even just hear his struggles and, you know, having the capacity, the spirit you and emotional capacity to understand what that man is, is going through, even though you haven't even went through it yourself. All right. But just simply being a listening ear. All right. And emanatism is, is the vibration that you give off when you emanate. All right. That means to omit, you know, when you've given off a certain energy. You could be upset about whatever the hell it is that's going on in your life. You don't even got to say anything. If you walk into a room angry, all right, that vibration might may, may come up your way. Somebody might tempt you and things of that nature. Somebody might, you know, like like try to, uh, 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 you know, test you or whatever and, and provoke you to even more anger, man. All right. If you go into a room yelling and screaming and so on and so forth, you're going to get, you know, a, a, a response that that is not comely. OK. A wrathful man stir up strife, you know, same thing with, um, you know, certain individuals, you know, in, in the camps that 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 stir up, you know, a contention amongst the brethren, which the Lord hates, by the way, if that's not obvious, the Lord hates when when a man is stirring up contention and strife amongst brethren, man, causing division. You know, the Lord don't like that shit, man. It says, but he that is slow, slow to anger, a piece of strife. All right. He that is slow to anger, a piece of strife. All right, so so there you go, man. You you calming everything down. You 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 you're, you're dealing with humility. You're dealing with patience. All right, when when you're when you're slow to anger, you know you got a lot of jakes who will tell you, yeah, it take a lot to get me mad. It take a long time to get me mad. Which which that's where we come from. Once again, that's where we come from. All right, because what we we are we are the the, the city of peace, man. Okay, Jerusalem. Yahweh Shalom, Yahweh Shalom, Salakia, Yahweh Shalom, teachings of peace. All right. And that's exactly, you know, what we orchestrate, what we used to orchestrate more so in the ancient world, and what we're going to go back to in the new kingdom. All right. New Jerusalem. Chadash uh, Yahweh Shalom. All right. Let me get this in the book of James, because that was it on that. Chapter 1. James, chapter 1. Verse 19, it says, Wherefore, my beloved brethren, let every man be swift to hear, slow to speak, slow to wrath. All right, swift to hear. All right, notice the order that it went in. Swift to hear, slow to speak, slow to wrath. You know, because, and one thing to keep in mind too, the scriptures are very raw. The scriptures are very raw, very parabolic, very dark, and very raw, man. All right, at, at, at times in certain situations. You know, that's why you got, that's why you got Esau Edom, you know, big pinky trying to outlaw the Bible, trying to outlaw the scriptures because there's too much authenticity, authentica, all right, in, in the scriptures, man. All right. Because what the scriptures is talk about the salvation of the most oppressed people on this whole entire planet who are Israelites. It's talking about us. I can walk with you. All right. But what, when you hear something, you know, being new in the faith, when you hear something, that a, a certain brother or a certain elder might have said, and it, it didn't sound right to you, you don't agree with it, all right, it's important just to not say anything, 
And if you if, if it's bothering you that much, you know, and you're curious, there's nothing wrong with asking questions. There's nothing wrong with asking a brother a certain question, you know, about what you, you know, in so many words, got offended about. All right. So be swift to hear, be slow to speak and be slow to wrath, you know, because the scriptures is raw, man. You know, look at what happened to Yahweh Shai, those wicked scribes and Pharisees, his own people had him put to had, had him put to death. Which was all prophecy anyway. Okay. But what? A lot of our people have blood on their hands, man. You know? James 1 and 20. It says, For the wrath of man worketh not the righteousness of the Most High. So there you go, man. There's nothing pleasing about wrath to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right. Inside of a man, there's nothing pleasing about wrath to the Most High. All right. There's nothing good that comes from, from being angry or being violent and having uproars. You know, throwing tantrums and hissy fits or throwing hissies, man. You know, having emotional outbursts. If a brother check you and you don't like it, you know, you, you got to you got to look for a way to to to, to um, you know, uh, 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 deescalate the, the um, like your, your, your level of emotions at that time. You know. Let me see a give place. Romans 12 and 19, it says, Daily beloved, avenge not yourselves, but rather give place unto wrath. For it is written, Vengeance is mine, I will repay, saith the Lord. All right. You know, and, and a lot of this goes into, you know, these jakes who try to, you know, save themselves. I, I, I was going into it. Um, you know, this, uh, I, I, uh, I think it was last week at Kent. I was talking about how Jake be trying to damn, you know, defend himself. You know, whether camp or video I did, I was going into it. You know, no, it's like I, I did a video talking about it. You know, Jake, Jake got that spirit of, you know, self-vengeance. He got that spirit of self-vengeance, man. All right. The scriptures talk about, you know, a vengeance is mine. I will repay. The day of vengeance is in my heart. And the book of Isaiah says, all right. So what it's important for us to just, you know, cool out, you know, just, just be calm, just be lowly, just be meek, just be humble, because the Lord is going to execute that vengeance for us, you know, on our enemies, on our oppressors. Be it two thirds of our people and the heathen, you know. It says, but give, but rather give place unto wrath. So you know what I'm saying, like, like, uh, beside yourself. All right, beside. Let me look that up real quick. It says, in addition to, apart from, in addition as well. Okay, so in addition to. Apart from, so what you want to, you want to be side yourself with anger. You want to set it apart, you know, from, from, from what you're going through. You know, you want to, you want to set it in, in, in a, in a, in a, um, in a, um, you want to compartmentalize it. <laughs> Try saying that three times. All right. You, you want to compartmentalize it, man. You want to put it in another place. You want to, you know what I'm saying? Like save it for another time, man. Take it out on, I don't know, one of your hobbies or something, or if you got a woman, and it's not the Sabbath, you know, clap your woman's cheeks out, you know, take it out on her, man, you know, pray to you, how about she, me, how was shot, throw up prayers, man, I, I should have said that first to lock you, you know, forgive me, all right, but, but, you know, like, like I said, man, it's just, it's, it's, there's different ways to, you know, go about dealing with wrath, man, and anger and, and, you know, strife, you know, because what, in anger and strife, you, you can offend, you can very much offend, you know, but let me get this in the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 7, and I'll close out. All right, Ecclesiastes 7 and 9, it says, Be not hasty in thy spirit to be angry, for anger resteth in the bosom of fools. So there you go, man. All right, be not hasty in thy spirit to be angry. So if you get offended at something, something's bothering you, it's important to, to just, you know, you know, uh, uh, take it slow and deal with it accordingly. You know, deal with it with, with, with humility, with lowliness of heart, with lowliness of mind. You know, it's important to deal with it, you know, uh, uh, slowly, like, like proceed with caution, if you will. You know, it's very important to tread carefully in this truth. That's why it's important to just, you know, if a brother's speaking, you know what I'm saying, which we, we're not supposed to interrupt each other in, in the midst of speak, but you got certain brothers you know, and, and I, I, I can I can say it for myself as well. I do it sometimes. I'll get excited or whatever the case. Like if brothers is flowing through the spirit and the conversation is beautiful, you know, so you got certain brothers who may do that, you know, cut off spiritual interruption. It, it happens. 
it happens. You know what I'm saying? But it's it's all adding to the spirit. But but in this hasty, you know what I'm saying? Like you you, you don't want to if a brother's you know telling you something important that you should take heed to, you don't want to cut him off and be like, well well you know I was I was actually thinking this at the time and you know you know Jake getting that spirit of trying to defend himself, you know angry. But look man, we we too old for tantrums. All right, even out on the highways and the hedges, if a scoffer come up and start talking all crazy to us. And bringing up some false doctrine and interrupting us, interrupting the spirit, more importantly, interrupting the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahushah. Look, even with those situations, proceed with caution, man. All right, because what? Anger resteth in the bosom of fools, man. You know, that's what, a part of the reason why, um, in a physical sense, like, like, with somebody, well, I say it for myself, I know when I start getting angry at somebody, I, like, I feel it on my chest first, like, because I'm I like I'm, I'm so upset, like my heart start racing and pounding real fast. I'm getting excited because I'm just like like yo, what like what the hell is up with this person? Yada yada yada, so on and so forth. You know, anger rests in the bosom of fools, man. Okay, and that's and that's what happens with with a, with a lot of our people. They 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 lean on they um <laughs> they lean on they they own understanding. That's and that's what that's the the problem with anger because when you get angry, you're leaning on your own understanding. You're leaning on your own heart. You're leaning on your own emotions. All right. But um, with that being said, Lord's willing, this is edifying. Shalom.